<clears throat> All right, well, what's up everybody? Grim Green back here today. Thank you so much for joining me again. Today I have the unfortunately named As Vape Hitta. Except Hitta would be H-I-T-T-A, and this is just H-I-T-A, so maybe it's Hita. I promise that apart from the unfortunate name and apart from the Man, that really bugs me. That engraving right there just drives me insane. I hate that it says Haita Mech Reinvent All-in-One Pod System on the outside of this. Unnecessary, ugly, tacky as fuck. But apart from that, this is actually a very, very cool little AIO pod system. I like this so much. I'm trying to get Dwayne to stock them for recoilrda.com. Here's all the specs for the hitter right here. The important ones to remember, I guess, are the 1000 ma or milliamp hour battery on the inside, three mil liquid capacity for the pod, and yeah, USB-C charging on the bottom. Yes, USB-C. I, I want every device on the market to have USB-C charging on it now. And as you can see, it kind of just looks like a little mech mod with like a little low pro RDA on it. Stylistically, this is very 2013 looking. It's knurled on the top and bottom and the tanks look like an Ultem type of plastic. These tanks are just magnetically held in here. And as cool as it is to kind of like pull this out and put it back in because it's fun and magnetic, the magnets aren't quite strong enough. I mean, they're strong enough in that they'll hold your pod in no problem day to day using it in and out of pockets and regular use. It's going to hold it in fine. I get in the habit with pod systems of flicking them to clear the airflow of any liquid. We all do it. And if you grab this and flick it, you'll just launch your pod across your room like I discovered about a week ago. And you spend the whole morning looking for it in your bedroom. It does come with two mesh coils. There's a lower resistance sort of lung inhale coil and there is a higher resistant mouth to lung coil. I don't love the mesh mouth to lung coil, just don't like the airflow. I much prefer the lower resistant like restricted lung hit coil head. I believe it is the 0 0.5 ohm because I use that coil head with both restricted lung and mouth to lung. So you got magnets that go into magnets. There's two little stoppers on the side, so this can only go in one way. It just falls in and it's very satisfying. You twist the whole pod to adjust the airflow. This little slot right here, that is fully closed if you twist it, and now it's fully open. When it's fully open, you do direct lung. When it's fully closed, you do mouth to lung. And they are both honestly pretty serviceable airflows. Fully open, it is a real nice, restricted lung. Buttons on the back. Really wanted the button to be on the bottom, like the Soul Keeper, but it's not. It's on the back. That's kind of a bummer. It still works fine. It's just a personal bummer. Airflow closed off. It's a slightly open, pretty restricted, if not a little bit spongy, yet very satisfying mouth to lung. It's just nice. And then alternatively, you can open that airflow all the way up simply by twisting the tank. And now, restricted lung. Nice, flavorful, cloudy. This has been just my little carry, like my little daily banger carry with me. Now these also might look like disposable tanks, but they are definitely not disposable. They are reusable tanks. The bottoms of them just twist off. It's one twist and the bottom comes off and you can pull the coil head out. The coil head is just seated in there with O-rings. The coil head itself has its own even tinier base as well. But I love the way this bottom comes apart. I love the way it goes back together. I like that the coil Oil heads just slide in and out real easy to install them and take them out. It fills on the side with just a little kind of rubber silicone stopper. It's got a nice big hole for filling on the tank. And it also comes with this interesting little number right here. So the idea behind this is if I wanted to, I could take my Atmazoo tripod and I could screw it down to this little adapter. And then I can take said adapter and I can just drop it in this Hita. It's a little bit loose just because it's only being held in there by magnets. So there's a little bit of wobble to it, but the idea is it gives your Hita a 510 connection. So if you wanted to use any other mouth to lung tanks, any other maybe smaller RDAs on here, you definitely can. 
But again, this is just held in here with a magnet and the magnet itself, nah, it's not terribly strong. So now we get to that RBA base and the RBA base is very, very big and real easy to build on. I was surprised. My original intention was to install some of those coil turd mouth to lung fused Claptons in this RBA base, but I realized that his coils are wrapped counterclockwise and the way that the leads came off didn't line up with the deck. So I had to wrap some round wire clockwise on there and install it so it would seat properly against those screws. The RBA base comes with an adapter so you can screw it down to a 510 so you can glow your coils so you can test fire it. Really very easy to wick. I did the sort of tuck the wicks under and have them hover above the juice opening technique. I did the same thing in what was that other RBA that I tried to build? What, what the fuck? Oh, the Lost Vape. The Lost Vape Quest. Same idea. You just, you wet your wicks, you tuck them down underneath so they're just right above those juice flow holes. And remember the little extra base that your coil heads go into? Well, you're gonna need that tiny little base to plug your RBA base into so that you can slide it into the tank. Am I making this sound more complicated than it really is? Because I do have the tendency to do that. And this right here is the RBA base that I built. It was just a 24 gauge anarchist wire around a two and a half millimeter. I did a seven wrap, came out to a 0.25, got the airflow wide open, six milligram ohm shake on the inside. Excellent. Excellent performance. And like the RBA base with that Lost Vape Quest, I instantly noticed that the flavor was better than the mesh. And even with this 0.2 in here in this RBA base, I can still use that AFC to go from full open restricted lung down to a little bit of a mouth to lung, close the airflow all the way off. We're, I love it. I just, I don't know what it is about this thing. I, I am just enjoying the hell out of it. So even with a few quirks, even though it kind of has a little bit of a weak magnet, and even though it has some really obnoxious and ugly laser etching on the front of it, I love this as vape hit up. I like that it feels like a tiny little knurled cool mech mod. I like that the pod kind of looks and feels maybe like it could be a cool little RDA or RTA on there. You're not really sure. The 0.5 mesh coil head work really great. The RBA base works really great. On the fly, I can switch it back and forth between a restricted lung and a very serviceable mouth to lung. And it even comes with a dorky little magnetic adapter. So if you wanted to run another RTA on it, you can. The button on the back is also just a little bit clicky and nice. I think Asvape did an incredible job with this. Now, if we want to get down to brass tacks, are you going to need your vape budget hands if you want to check this out? Not really. Clicking around the internet, you can find it for about 35 bucks. Like I said, I've been having such a good time with this and I love this little fake mech pod so much. I'm trying to get Dwayne to stock these on our Recoil RDA site. I just legitimately think it's a good vape. I think a mouth to lung vapor is gonna like it. I think it's gonna let them transition maybe into a little bit more of a restricted lung. They can go back and forth really, really easily with it. And I mean, ultimately, I want a smoker to find this and have some success getting away from tobacco. Now, if we're gonna play the Aliens game or the FDA game where they have come and taken everything I have, I got nothing left to vape, is the Asvape high something I'm gonna seek out and buy right away. Look, I know it's called the Hitta. They just spelled it wrong. Yeah, I mean, yeah, absolutely, yes. I, I, I like little AIOs, you know, I never really go anywhere without a Grim Kit, and this has been, God damn it, displacing my Grim Kit as like my most used AIO. Anyway, that's what I got for today, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Links are not allowed in the description, so you're gonna have to use your Google Foo, but remember, no matter what anybody tells you, Absolutely, you should keep on vaping.